Hi, I'm Dustin and welcome to Overworked Logic. In this video, I'm going to show you Wake on LAN, how to create a module in Simple Plus that can send a Wake on LAN magic packet and a couple utilities that you can use to debug it. So let's get to the video. Before I get started, I should note that this file for the Simple Plus is available from the Owl's Nest. There's a link below where you can join and download it for free. Now what I've done here is built a simple Simple Plus module that has a couple of parameters. One is MAC address bytes. So that's going to be with a backslash X for a hexadecimal character. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of them in a MAC address. And you also have to specify an IP address. Now, Wake on LAN is a UDP broadcast that only really works on the segment of the network where the device is. So for example, a monitor would have to be on the same segment of a network as a Crestron controller. There are ways to forward multicast between routers, but that's a little bit more complicated and out of the scope of this video. And if you've got a complicated network like that, sometimes the network admins don't want you doing that anyways. You don't really have to understand how this module works to be able to use it. The basic things to know are that the MAC address of the device that you're trying to turn on is in hexadecimal bytes with backslash X in the parameters here. We're not doing any error checking. And also the IP address of the device, which you probably shouldn't need, but the socket UDP from Simple Plus requires an IP address. So that needs to be in there. The next thing you can do is download a utility that lets you test right from your computer to control the device. That's just to see if Wake Online is actually working and it's not something with your processor or with where your processor is on the network. I like to use this Wake on LAN Magic Packet Sender. It's a pretty simple little application. You download it from magicpacket.free.fr. I have no affiliation with them. It's just something I found in Google. And it looks like this. You put in the IP address of the device, subnet mask. The MAC address itself needs to be input with dashes. So if we're trying to talk to this device here, we just have to replace this so that it has dashes instead of the backslash X. And keep the rest of it default here, UDP and port nine. And when you send that, that should tell the monitor to turn on. I don't have a monitor at my workbench here to demonstrate, but this is a good way to test that you're actually able to control the device. If you can't control it from your laptop, then there's some other problem and it. it's not gonna be something that's with your processor or with your code. The other helpful thing that this little utility can do is in receive mode, it can actually listen for magic packets being sent from the processor. In this case, I've actually put the address of my computer currently, and this is the MAC address of my computer currently. If I start this, it will start listening. And then from my processor, I can trigger the send command, which is sending this out here and it actually pops up with this window. It just showed up on my other screen, magic packet received. And because I sent it three times, I'll actually get this window three times. And that's a good way to test that things are working kind of both ways. Another way to test that's a little bit more advanced is you can use something called Wireshark. You can download that from wireshark.org. When you open it up, you have to choose your ethernet adapter and you can see a little bit of activity here double click on that. So now we're seeing the traffic that my laptop is seeing on the network. If I paste in this filter and hit enter, this is going to filter out everything that's coming from the MAC address of my control processor. So now when I go to debugger and trigger that send, we'll see the three wake on LAN packets. And you see how they're formulated with the, the F, 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 and then the MAC address 16 times. And it just sends three of them, just has its programmed in my Simple Plus. So I hope this video was helpful. It gave you some tools on how you could troubleshoot Wake on LAN, and you'll be able to download this module that I built from the Owl's Nest at owl.proavschool.com. Thanks for watching this video. Please like it here on YouTube and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.